Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for another printer. Thanks to GearVest, this is the GTEC E180, which looks to be possibly the source of the Modern Price Select Mini, or very similar to it. So stay tuned. This is going to be a pretty short one because this is a very small printer and it's probably mostly assembled inside the box here. There's probably very little I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to get into this, tear it apart, and display on the table here what is inside the box. Alrighty, this is an interesting little printer. Uh, spool holder. Filament holder. That's interesting. Um, filament. Looks like a partsless sheet instruction manual. Some screws, probably for the filament holder. Uh, European power cable, but it is a standard C13, so I've already plugged a standard C13 into the 8 amp power supply. That means no heated bed, so this is a PLA only machine. A, some tools, and including a smooth rod of some sort, extra Bowden tube, a 1 gigabyte micro SD card generic, USB cable, extra piece of bed tape, and here's the interesting part. I was looking under here. And I was like, that's an interesting nozzle. I thought it had a silicone sock, but no, the, the bit surrounding the nozzle is hard, and it came with a spare nozzle. It's some sort of plug-in nozzle module. That wasn't that interesting. There's little electrical contacts there, and this is some sort of plastic of some sort. I'm not sure. That's interesting. So I want to keep that protected inside of its foam the way it came, since I don't want nothing to happen to that. And I am now going to do the very minor assembly of the printer, basically figuring out how to install the spool holder, and that's probably about it. After that, load filament and see what happens. So I will be right back. Okay, so the filament holder doesn't attach to the printer. It's these nice looking pieces of metal you have that piece, you have a post, and then you have the little cradle for the filament. I was going to try to put it around backwards and just have this pinned underneath the printer, but these holes don't line up with the holes on the post, and the bolts aren't long enough to go through this into the post. So I couldn't even put one screw in. So I said screw it, and just super glued the damn thing right to the side of the printer. <laughs> <laughs> it should work fine. <laughs> um, let's go from here and boot it up. Well, <coughs> another broken printer. <laughs> I'm just having wonderful luck this week, aren't I? If I disable and then touch any movement, it just rehomes this and rehomes that all the way at vertical, and I think it's actually still pushing up because when I turn it off, I can see it release. Yeah, it releases. So, this is connected backwards, I believe. This is probably okay, and this doesn't move at all. Never moves. Turn it on. Go to control, move. But as soon as I touch anything, it does this. This comes all the way forward, and that moves all the way to the top and gets pinned. I think it's looking for an end stop. I wonder if I can find the end stop and press it and confirm if that's the issue. There's the board and the fan, a little tiny thing in there. Wow. I don't see an end stop switch, so I'm not sure how that stops. It's trying to move. Yeah, it's trying. It's resisting. Oh, so it was waiting for this to move and it wasn't. I can feel it trying. Yeah. Alright, so 
X is broken and it won't let me continue until it resets X and it can't reset X because this is broken. Is it the motor or is it the stepper? Uh, same thing really. Okay, it is turning so it's bad stepper. That would be my guess is the X stepper motor is bad. So one more bum printer. On to the next one.